Hey everybody, what's going on? We're here with a timeless reading. Welcome. Okay, first card that we have out, Hierophant. And I'm also seeing the Fool here. There may be some old ways that you're breaking out of. Growing into something else. The Hierophant and the Fool is about having been doing things in a particular way that you could feel like it's not the way that you want to do it anymore. Hierophant can be like the old ways or like the traditional ways of doing something or this is how regularly it's done. And to have the fool sort of like calling over to the Hierophant in this way, it can be breaking out of those old patterns and those old cycles of like, this is how we've always done it or this is how I've always done it or this is how my family has always done it. Like those sorts of things. This is what I'm used to and breaking into something else. Because the Hierophant is connected with Taurus, it's connected with our values, what we value, what we believe in, what holds worth, that type of thing. And it looks like there's gonna be a new way that you're doing something. Uranus is doing things differently. It's also associated with doing things differently, not just to do things differently, but to be like, could something else be a better fit than what I know already or how I'm used to doing things or like acclimating to something else as well. So there can be, a, I was used to doing things in this way. This used to be an alignment in some way or I was just like really familiar with this and then having the fool come out, it's like, Let's try it a different way. Let's try it a new way. Let me like drive a different path this time. And I think that you're finding your creativity or your energy or spontaneity or motivation within this. Because we have the sun. So it's kind of like, okay, today I'm going to travel down, go to where I'm trying to go, but take a different route to get there. And I'm feeling really happy about the way that this is happening, about the way that I'm doing it. I feel adventurous, I feel creative, I feel more spontaneous. This also means that you're opening yourself up to ways that may be unfamiliar to you, but you're interested in exploring them and seeing sort of what it has to offer. It does feel like a, like a growing out of something or like a breaking out of something that had been familiar to you, but you could have felt like you could have felt like it was stopping you from exploring because that's also what Uranus is about too. It's like, I want to go there today or I want to explore this today. And the Hierophant can be sometimes a bit of a stuffy energy as well where we feel like things become sort of mundane because of that. We feel like we can't be ourselves and Uranus is like breaking you out of that so you can explore yourself further or explore your journey further, explore your values further, like what actually is aligning with you rather than just like what you've been taught or what you've been told or what you've grown familiar with. In a way that feels, okay. You could have felt like something was not reciprocal anymore, like something was not aligned with your values anymore, even though that was the like old way of doing things or it was familiar or that was traditionally how things were being done or how it's like normalized to do things. This is you being open to exploring these new ways of doing things. So this is like developing your own sort of system. This is about self self-expression, it's about creativity, it's about having the energy and the motivation to do what you wanna do. The sun is like the opposite of depression. Depression is like when we're shutting ourselves down, when we're not exploring what we want to explore, when, when we feel like we're trapped by sort of like the old systems and the old ways of things, this is you breaking yourself out of that by being open to different stuff different pathways but especially exploring because the fool is like I don't know what exactly I'm doing but I'm gonna try to do it it's like that type of thing or like I'm only going to learn through me trying things out through me experiencing it's like taste testing stuff 
and then the sun is this also takes bravery too it takes like a leap of faith because it's like everybody always walks down this path having uranus be here it's like mar marching to the beat of your own drum and then to have the sun here it's like wow i'm actually really enjoying this wow this is fun for me it doesn't feel the way that it did before when i was just going along you know with what i'm used to or what everybody's telling me like that type of thing And to have this here, this is like, oh, this is working much better for me. Oh, this is actually feeling reciprocal for me too. But you needed to take a leap of faith in order for you to find this because however it was that you were doing before. Hierophant can also be too, like the commitments that we have because we are keeping ourselves loyal to those things. And you may have gotten to a point where you're like, I'm not, this isn't resonating with me any longer. I'm growing into a different space and by allowing yourself to sort of expand beyond that, I'm seeing something that you feel very, very happy with and something that now you're like, oh, that's what alignment feels like. Like this is feeling right for me. But it definitely took courage to do this because if you had been staying doing things that old way, you wouldn't have been able to like taste this sense of reciprocity or this sense of alignment now where it feels like what you're doing there's an exchange that feels equal to you an exchange that feels balanced to you that maybe you weren't feeling before So I think you're breaking out of some type of old tradition, but it would have been because it felt like arbitrary or it wasn't resonating anymore. Because this isn't just like breaking away from things for the sake of breaking away from things. This is something that you thought like long and hard about. I'm seeing you spent a long, long time reflecting on this. So this is like your values, it's your beliefs, your way of doing things, what you care about, what matters to you. Because I think too, maybe you weren't being honest. Maybe before you felt like, by me just going along with this thing, I'm not expressing myself in an honest way. Or I'm sabotaging my creativity or I'm sabotaging the reciprocity that I know would bring me a sense of happiness that would allow me to connect with a sense of fulfillment where I would get some type of even emotional enjoyment out of what I'm doing but I'm seeing like with the hierophant these can be like the ways hierophant is connected with Taurus right and it's connected with earth too and that's fixed earth so fixed energy is like, I've been doing it like this and I like to do it like this. So it has a hard time sort of changing the tune or changing lanes. And so there could have been this part of you, especially those of you that have Taurus placements or second house placements. You can feel this sense of like, I like what's familiar to me. Like I've always made money this way or like I was taught to play by these rules or I grew up being told that this is what we believe in or this is how we behave or this is how you show up, you know, these sorts of things where it's like that's what I was shown, that's what I was taught, that's what I became familiar with. Having hermit be under the hierophant, this can be you questioning authority, it can be you questioning what you've been told, it can be you questioning what you believe in, it can be you thinking about those things. And having the fool can be like, maybe I want to try it a different way, maybe I want to explore it a different way. This can be like a different religion that you're exploring, it can be new languages that you're learning, it can be different ways that you want to make money, like all of these different things, different tastes that you're exploring, because Taurus also has to do with that can be the thing where you're like, like this type of fashion taste or the way that I like this type of art. It can also be about foods that you're eating too, especially having Virgo here as well. It can be like different things with your health routine, lots of different stuff, whatever this was that you could have felt stuck by in some way, but it's developing like your own new system. And it's one that you feel like allows you to express yourself in a way that you feel good about rather than feeling like there were things that you couldn't touch or couldn't explore before.
because I think before ultimately you could have felt like by staying stuck stagnant in some type of routine although it felt familiar to you routine work relationship whatever it is you could have felt like you were not allowing yourself to have a chance to fully shine in the way that you wanted to shine, to create something you wanted to create, to express yourself in a way that you want to express yourself. Could have felt like you were not allowing yourself the option to be like happy within something, to explore something that would bring a sense of happiness, to explore something that would feel more reciprocal. You could have felt like you weren't giving yourself the opportunity to feel a sense of fulfillment or you could have not been giving yourself an opportunity to explore your pursuit of happiness. So reflection on reciprocity values alignment what you believe in how you feel about that what you're co-signing as well like what you're putting your faith in what you're putting power like what you're giving power to as well in that way I feel too like this has to do with belief systems as well. Something sort of that you're filtering through at this point. So I'm seeing you're gonna break out. This can be like a system of some sort that you're breaking out of. Feeling your way through this is going to be helpful for you. using your discernment and also feeling your way through it's going to clarify for you what you want what you want what you want to be doing so it's paying attention to that what you actually feel like you're being guided to explore here i'm seeing lots of different things this can do with like projects that are being worked on job commitments responsibilities like your livelihood how you're paying for things roles that you're playing, what you're taking care of, what you're tending to regularly as well, what you're showing up for. There may be a couple different things that you want or that you want to explore. Having Queen of Swords here means that like Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups, Page of Wands. There can be multiple things that you're like, maybe I want to go down that path. Maybe I want to explore this. Having Queen of Swords here, it's like you paying attention and picking like which one is deeply going to be like the right way to go. So Queen of Swords is like that filter of discernment that you're putting on things and that filter of judgment and wanting to... Judgment meaning to actually discern something and see it clearly through a filter of can be a filter of logic that you're using but more so like honesty and reflection while also working with this part of yourself that's like I want to do this so there are those parts of yourself that's like like can we do that is that something feasible to be exploring like do i actually really want to do that thing most of all that i think more than anything so you're working with these two parts of yourself to figure out like what do i really want to be doing and exploring where do i really feel like i'm being led for some of you too it can also be sort of in the same vein as what you had been doing some of you it's going to be something completely different I think it's too like giving yourself the permission to do something that inspires you as well to pursue something that you feel excited about i think too you're seeing where you had been maybe making an excuse and not allowing yourself to go for something that you want to go for so this can mean like because i'm stuck in like this belief system i can't do that you know like that type of thing where in reflecting on this you can be like wow i'm really jipping myself of my pursuit of happiness something that brings me joy something that would feel worth it to me 
Like imagine yourself doing something where you're like, I would be so happy if I could wake up every morning and this was the thing that I was doing. With your old belief system that you're now sort of climbing out of, outside of, to explore what else there is. I think before where you were, you could have been keeping yourself in a spot where because you were familiar with doing the, those things or used to doing those things and maybe not feeling like ready to be adventurous yet, you could look at it and now you're seeing like I had really been limiting myself. And I think that's what it was at the end of the day. But you could have been like, but but using like a like the cover or the excuse of like this is what I believe in in some way or like this is the right way to do things or like how everybody else has been doing things so that must be how I have to do it too like that type of thing but as you're sort of crawling out of this and more than that even just like reflecting on this and being real with yourself here about what you're seeing I think you're realizing that this has just been an excuse that's been keeping you stagnant because you were actually feeling more comfortable with just doing what you were familiar with rather than exploring something that your heart is actually calling you towards you know that your passion is actually calling you towards So I think it was like fear, but more so a lack of honesty with self that this had been connected with. Because I think too, with what you have to, to give and to share, because I'm seeing the Hierophant here and I feel like this is connected with, you know, Hierophant is also connected with sharing and teaching and guiding and sort of transferring knowledge that you have in that type of thing you may want to do something where you're sharing your wisdom or your experience in some type of way or like gifts that you have and that may be something that you want to do but something that you were actually keeping yourself from doing some of you, there may be a position of like guiding or guidance that you're going to be stepping into or that you want to explore further. They can have to do with what you're connected to as well, what you're connecting to. This is also about discerning what's going to be a right fit for you, like what's actually aligned with your values too. So it's like, making sure that you're doing things that that are aligned with you like that, that sit well with you to be doing. So it's not doing things and then feeling like there's a lack of balance within that. It's feeling like there's that, that equality within the exchange and that being important. Because you could have felt before like something was one-sided and this is bringing back like two sides to something where there can be an actual relationship, a type of relationship that you feel like works the way that a relationship is meant to work properly. So like you doing something and then there being like something on the receiving end and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. You could have felt like there was an issue before with that, that like you weren't happy with how it was. So this can be something where like, I'm giving my energy to this and I feel like I'm just expending energy and there's like nothing that I'm getting back. And so I feel like it's just depleting me and depleting me. But when you make this shift here, because I think too, you're also now getting to a spot where you're being honest about what you want. And maybe that was something that you weren't being honest with yourself about before. Like you could have been keeping yourself from seeing like what you really wanted by being like, oh, this is enough or, oh, this is okay for me or like, this is just how it has to be, you know, but it doesn't. But I think that's what you were telling yourself before in a way. But now because of what you're doing, because you're open to exploring, it's really changing the game for you. So that's what I'm seeing is happening here. Just because you're feeling your way through this doesn't mean you're not using your discernment, but there's just more honesty within the reflection here. And I think something that you maybe weren't ready to be honest with yourself about, you're getting to a place where I think you're seeing how you had been self-sabotaging, but in a way where it was like, this isn't very obvious self-sabotage. This is something with the Hierophant that could have been even socially acceptable 
So you were like, but everybody does this. Everybody hates their job. You know, like that type of thing. <sighs> Apply that to whatever situation it was for you. But now you're getting to a spot where I think you're seeing something that had been, you know, with the Seven of Swords, it's very sneaky. It's very difficult to catch because it's the shadow running around doing things. But this is you bringing, bringing light to it, but through honest self-reflection. And this is ultimately about like your pursuit of happiness and how you were like tricking yourself into thinking that this was something that wasn't possible for you before because you just had to settle with something. But now I'm seeing you realize, oh, I don't have to settle. Like things can actually feel like there's a sense of balance here. I can actually do something that I feel happy about. Like something that brings me joy to be involved in. Like exchanges and situations where I'm like, I love this. This feels so good. Or like I feel so satisfied by doing this. And then having this page of wands, it looks like a path that you're going to be pursuing. Something that you're going to be doing. It can be an interest, an activity, something that you want to explore, something you're interested in, something that you want to get into, something that you want to be doing. It can be a relationship, lots of different things this can be. Some of you, this has to do with like, like guiding or teaching or sharing, or it can be like a vocational thing even. It can be spiritual philosophical it can be like anything that you can fit under the realm of the hierophant it can be exploring some type of like education it can be about classes retreats lots of different things wisdom queen of swords and six of pentacles this means that you probably have multiple options of how you could do this Queen of Swords is you making sure that you're looking at things and being like, would I be happy doing this? Like, would this be aligned with my values if I did that? Is that an exchange that feels equal to me? Like that type of thing. So you make sure that what you're doing, you feel like there's reciprocity within it and that you're not shortchanging yourself, that you're not giving so much away and then depleting your energy and then you have to stop and take a break, you know, and get into that whole thing. This is about being able to keep going because you're just in alignment. So there's like a natural flow to things. You don't have to keep stopping and starting with what you're doing because it's something that's like self-replenishing. So you don't have to keep taking these breaks from to recharge and stuff because you feel like there's just that natural flow to things. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.